what's up hi guys we're back in ow she's beating me up with the snack nation today it's flipped up my fingers yeah that, mm -hmm. like, she almost smacked me I did not it, it did wasn't even close that? did you see that rewind she's it back the you know, double card. tap the back now she's waving knives around look at that she's abusive mm -hmm. I already marked out the box so yay Okay, so I like this one the last time. It's another edible cookie dough bar. She does like those. I have heard a lot of good things about Lily's. Ooh, ew, it's sugar. This is a uh, low carb sugar free chocolate, usually. Yeah. Cocoa dusted nuts. And an extra dark ginger juice. I'm almost out. I'm almost out. And now hey, I'm look, out. it's Easter. Hey. Sun-made raisins, peanut butter, and jelly bars. Oh wait, they're like granola bars. Okay, that might be good. Oh, these are that orange. We haven't had these, these ones. Might be good. What are these? Look, they've got grass at the bottom. Look, Ew. look, it's like filler. It's a filler. coconut toasted corn cracker. Gross. And this filler won't go to waste at our house. We'll put this in the bottom of some of our plants, our potted plants. So. Not wasted. And there's still a smile at the bottom. Okay, we're gonna eat it now though. All right. So Arizona, we're gonna try these first to Coconut toasted corn crackers. Crazy. I don't know, I'm really bad at Craze, I think it's craze. All right. All right. There's 21 grams and nine crackers. It's they're vegan, gluten-free, and kosher, non-GMO. At least they're kosher, I guess. Right? Well, all sorts of stuff. That's Why cool. Why is Aaron opening the snack? If I take it out for the nails. Oh, that's healthy. Thank for your nails. <gasps> Table! I didn't do that. You do this every time! I did nothing. You do! I have it on video again! That's like the third time you Here. put the table. It's a good thing this is a very old table. Look, we have scissors right there. We have a whole thing. Cracker! Full of scissors. Like a literal cut. There's okay, like okay. Well, I had right a knife. There. I thought about the knife. I didn't think about the scissors. It smells like coconut. For a tortilla chip, it. it sure does smell eat like it. coconut. Tell me what it tastes like, and then I'll decide if I'm gonna eat it. You eat it. It smells like a cookie almost. <laughs> like a really flat cookie. Mm -hmm. It's good. It is not a tortilla chip. It's a really crispy cookie. Well, that's because it's corn, coconut, dark brown sugar, yellow corn grits, oil, salt, cinnamon, and vanilla. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Oh, I thought you had it. Like, it says all the possibilities. I'm like, mm. there are most of those possibilities I would not, I would not. They're kind of sweet. Next! They're okay. About 40 grams of carbs in this whole thing. A serving size is half of it. Um, ginger chews. They got four grams of carbs per ginger chew. Like always, these ones are mandarin orange flavor. I love these brand. This specific brand. I adore these. I'm almost out of ginger chews. They came I right bought her like time. three other brands, and she's like, I don't like it. They're not quite the same. I still go ahead and eat them. What Takes about those ones with the old man on them? I haven't had good? those yet because the ones that you got me last time, I'm trying to finish them, but they're a little sweet. Mm. Very well, orange. that's true because this one's really hard. Mm -hmm. The other know. ones are really soft. The ones you bought me. They're stuck. You can't bite it like a Jolly Rancher. You gotta leave it alone for a minute. The other ones are good too, though. Cause they have more sugar, more corn syrup. 
That's why I like these ones. They have more ginger in them. Yeah, well, bring it. Mm -hmm. Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace ginger juice. So next we have the <laughs> Cocoa Nuts. Dusted Karma Cashews. Now I'm pretty sure we've had these before. Okay, we had a different flavor last time. Maybe cinnamon? Yeah. I was like, I'm pretty sure. Hello, cat. I'm pretty sure we've. Hello, kitten. Okay, no, I think we have these ones too. Look pretty familiar, guys. Yeah, we've had these 12 grams of carbs. But we have had cinnamon ones. And I want to say creme brulee, maybe. Mm. We've I don't really care for this one. No. Next. Mm. Peanut butter and jelly sun made raisin bites. PBJ Tom. They're new. I've never seen them like that ever. ever. No, but of course everybody knows the brand. Let's see what they, they look like granola bars, like little baby granola bars. Like. Yeah. Oh, they do. They're cute. The little cut up granola bars. They are cute. Peanut butter and jelly, huh? Strawberry now? Oh, uh -huh, I think so. Yeah, kind of pink. Yeah, they're hard. It was whole fruit. Mm. Only 17 carbs for four. For four bites. Yeah. But I think. Mm. Well, that's a granola bar. That's about the size of a granola bar, yeah. If you. Like, take it out the wrapper. If you were to take it out the wrapper, they're about the same. There you go. So you get like four granola bars in this whole package. Right. So, I mean, it is about average for a granola bar. Yeah, well, it says you get three. So you get so you get four times 30, yeah. And for a granola bar, a granola bar usually runs like 17 grams to 22, 25, depending on how crazy you get with it. Well, that's pretty good though. They're, they're pretty decent, so yeah, I can see that working. It's like taking it for camping. It would be like a trail breakfast for everybody. That would be enough for everybody to have that and like an applesauce pouch and be good to go on the trail. So, but I think overall those Nature Valley bars would be better for you. Yeah. So, we'll have to compare. Not yeah, bad, though. Pretty good. Cookie dough bar. It's sprinkles. It's sugar cookie. Yeah, sugar cookie with sprinkles. I like sprinkles though. I'm a fan. Hey, she's getting the scissors. I have a lot of them. Ew. It, it is That's not. That's not what I thought. It, it is not appetizing. <laughs> it's a sugar cookie turd. It is not. Look, I don't. I don't know what this is. But this. This is very poor marketing. There. It smells like a sugar cookie. It. It. It looks like in the refrigerator section when you get like a loaf of sugar cookie or the little rocks of them. That's what it tastes like. Yup. Well, it definitely delivers, and it does taste like cookie dough. I guess. You can distinctly taste the butter. It's cookie dough. It, it did its job, damn it. It's, it's exactly what it's supposed to be. Kudos to you, does. Tastes like butter! Tastes like cookie dough. Butter. And vanilla. Yeah. Yay. It was weird. Lily's chocolate bar. Now, I hear good things about this in my group. This is, it has 10 grams of carbs for the whole thing there. How many grams is in this? Some dark chocolate. I don't know. Some. 30 
grams of carbs for the whole bar of milk. No, uh, it, it is just chocolate. I mean, it's okay, but you can distinctly taste that there's like an artificialness to it. Being a dark chocolate person, it's got that cooling sensation. And you can definitely tell that there's art. <laughs> Bless me. Definitely has our <laughs> sweetener. You can definitely taste that. I will stick with my real stuff and just pull this accordingly. It's not that big of a difference in the carb count. Definitely taste wise for me worth it to go with the real stuff. <laughs> you. But I can see overall if you are doing something on purpose, like keto like style or whatever. Stuff like that. Yeah, go for it. But for the price, I know Lily's chocolate costs. And if you don't care about your diet and you're just eating chocolate to eat chocolate, just take a damn shot. Right. Don't make yourself eat gross chocolate for no reason. You only live once. I will say it is better than most sugar-free chocolates. I mean, these are better. So if you're going for sugar-free chocolate, it is... It's not bad. It's pretty good. Better it than is. Russell Stover's chocolate? Yes. Yeah. Oh, theirs has that weird texture. Right. And that this one kind of does too. It's not quite as creamy as real chocolate. I thought that was because it's dark chocolate. No, it's that artificial. Oh. Alright, we had the kids try some stuff and kind of came to a general consensus here. It's um, not a good box. It's not a bad box. Like the ginger chews, this is a very big fan of mine. I love these. This mine. brand is really good with the non-cooked cookie dough brand. I'm just not a fan of sugar cookie or sprinkles. But in general, they are very good, so this is why we picked this one. We had peanut butter two. and chocolate chip last time. It was good. Hello. This is not bad. If you it really like bad. dark chocolate and you really care about your sugar number. Right. And it, it really wasn't... It's not great compared to re real, regular, classic chocolate. Well, like, clearly, but it's a diet kind of chocolate. Overall, it, it, it's okay, you know, it's okay. These are pretty good. Yeah. I would suggest finding the right thing to put on top of them. Right. Because they are very coconut. Not sweet, but sweet. So, it depends on what you It's them. not a chip, though. Not like if you put something that. sweet with them, I think they'd be really sweet. But I also feel like if you put something savory... Might be a little salty. So maybe an in between ground. Don't put salsa. I don't feel like it don't said do salsa. It said salsa, but I don't think These were alright. More geared for kids. Didn't it's taste friendly. like peanut butter. Oh. And these nuts were bad. Whoops. I didn't care for them. But we've had them before. Didn't care for them last time. Either though. the same flavor or a different one. So. Overall, That's the there box. You go. Woo woo, snake nature. Deuces.